In this video, I will show you how to take notes for the media language question if it's a video extract and how to possibly structure your answer. For the media language question, this will be 15 marks and you're going to have about 30 minutes to do your answer. If the media language question is based on a video extract, then you're going to be watching this extract three times and you're expected to take notes. For the first viewing, you will just watch. The second viewing, you will make notes. You'll have five minutes to make further notes. Then there'll be a third viewing to make some more notes and then you'll begin your answer. In the 10 minutes that you have to watch the extracts and to do your notes, you're going to have to do a note taking grid of some kind. There is no right or wrong way of how to do a grid. So this is down to your personal preference. So this is just one suggestion that I'm offering you. In the first few minutes, when the video is played at start, you can have a minute or two before the extract actually begins. So this is when you need to write out your note taking grid. So you need to do this in one or two minutes to get ready. And then when the extract starts, you're ready to write your notes. So this is one way how to do a note taking grid. So ideally in a minute or two, you need to get these things listed and I'll go through these now. So you want camera, you want sound and you want editing, you want lighting, you want color, you want location, what props are there, the costume, the hair and makeup, the performance of either actors or the people or gesture codes. Are there any visual effects? So these are effects done on a computer afterwards. Are there any graphics? Are there any special effects? So like explosions or stunt work, which is done live on location. Who has been cast in this extract? Or are they real people, real celebrities? Are there binary oppositions? And what about the genre? So you might want to also consider narrative. So character types, does that apply? Todoros theory, so if you're watching a 60 second extract, which is has a complete beginning, middle and end, like an advert, so that might apply as well. And you also might want to apply both codes to what you were shown. So here is my example of a note taking sheet that I've done. So what I'm doing is I've got the technique on the left and examples on the right. So I'm just doing the denotation and the idea is I can then take these and then I can use them and analyze the connotations in my answer. So if I just very quickly go through what I've written down here for this music video. So I have a LA, which means low angle shot to the singer. So LS got a long shot to the riot police. In terms of framing, there's a large gap between the band and the riot police. In terms of editing, so it's very slow paced to build up and then when it gets to the, the attack at the end, it's very fast paced. In terms of sound, the verse is very slow, very quiet. And then when we get to the right sequence, it's very fast, it gets a lot louder. I've also noticed some lyrics that I could analyze later on, so I'm not like the others, never surrender, so important lyrics from the chorus, which I could then analyze. In terms of lighting, the band is always in high key lighting, and then the uh, right police are kind of in the shadows, so it's a bit of low key lighting. And then when the attack happened, the riot happens, there's a strobe effect. In terms of genre, it's rock music. In terms of the color, the singer is wearing white, the right police is wearing black, and we've got that red backdrop. So I'm just doing the denotations, I'm not analyzing anything at this point. In terms of costumes, so we've got the riot gear, and they've also got um, shields with that right gear as well. So, and the band are basically just wearing jeans and t-shirts. In terms of effect, we have the special effect of the water, which is coming at the right police at the end. And we also have slow motion effect for that right attack at the end as well. So in terms of props, we've got guitars, drums, bass, mics. Uh, the right police might be holding batons. I've said shields as well. In terms of location, it's in a large warehouse. Graphics, there aren't any, so it doesn't apply. In terms of people, we've got the Foo Fighters. So they will have connotations. We've got unknown actors playing the riot police. So this is a cultural code. In terms of performance, the band are angry, the riot police, they are unemotional. Barney oppositions, you do have the band versus the riot police. And notes on narrative. So we've got protagonists, we've got antagonists. We've got the band playing, it builds up. There's enigma codes, what's gonna happen between the two camps, the band and the riot police. 
there's the attack, there's the red water attack, so that's an action code, and at the end they are defeated, closed ending. So there are my denotations, and the idea is I will take those and then I'll do the connotations. So next slide, I'll just show you one brief example in terms of color and the connotations. So here is my quick analysis of color. So a visual code, the director uses to create meaning is to use color. The singer is dressed in a white t-shirt. This could suggest that it's pure, good, and represents hope, which is common for a protagonist. So look at this clip of Skywalker from Star Wars. The right police are dressed in black, which suggests they are evil, corrupt, and is a common technique for an antagonist. See the image above a Darth Vader. The red background behind the band represents their anger against repression. The red water represents how powerful their anger and rebellion is, and it engulfs and defeats those antagonists. So how do you lay out your answer? Well, again, no right or wrong way, really. So this is just one suggestion that I have. So you could do a very short intro, and I do mean short, one sentence. So the purpose of the music video is to promote the band to the target audience of the Foo Fighters and rock music, then move on. And then if you wanted to, you could focus on the visual codes first, then move on to technical codes, and then do theory and have a conclusion. But you can mix it up, you can mix up the visual codes, the technical codes and the theory. This is no right or wrong way of doing this, as long as you've analysed the media text in some way using visual codes, technical codes and the theory. So visual codes you might know as mise-en-scene, everything that you see. The technical codes would be the camera, the editing and the sound. Theory, binary oppositions, so the Foo Fighters music video is full of binary, really good binary oppositions. For the conclusion, just very again, one sentence, just to nicely round it off, so it's a nice little answer, just say something like, all these elements of media language makes the music video very successful in promoting the band and their music. That's it. In the next video, we will look at the representation question for component one, and if it's based on a video extract, how to take notes and how to possibly structure your answer.